A book holder is a great way for showcasing books, art, and more. The interesting thing about this book holder is you only need three things. One small acrylic four by six photo vertical frame and two acrylic 10 by eight horizontal display frame. You can glue it if you would like, but when you don't need it anymore, you can disassemble it and put it back together when you need it. First of all, you turn the vertical four by six photo frame upside down and you will see two areas where you can slide something inside either, either side. Then you will take your 10 by eight horizontal photo frame and slide one into the left side and one into the right side. And boom, you have a book holder without glue. This is the down dirty way of making a acrylic book display stand holder that you can use to display your very favorite book. Everyone can use a coaster to protect their coffee table, bedside table, and other surfaces that may get scratched or scarred. So what you want to do is remove the wooden puzzle from the package and it is all connected with elastic. You want to cut the elastic that is holding the square blocks together and arrange them before gluing them together because you want all four sides to be smooth. Now you can arrange them any way that you would like, but you want no holes showing on any of the four sides. All of the holes should be in the inside or on the bottom. You must be aware of this because it is easy for your eye to fool you and you will have holes showing up on the side. If you assemble and glue the wooden squares on parchment paper, I found that you will not have sticking on the bottom like you would with paper. So the way I did it, I glued a dark brown one beside a light brown one until they were complete. I glued five of them together. And so there are five across and five down. That is how big you want your coasters. And then when you start your second row, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to do the light brown, dark brown. And then on your third row, you will make it like your first row. So you will continue to do that until your coaster has been completed. This is a unique pattern and it can be used in any type of home decor. And in fact, you may paint it various colors to fit your style. And lastly, apply some felt to the bottom of the coasters to protect your surfaces in your home. I purchased two mugs from Dollar Tree, some 60 by eight millimeter roll of washi tape from the washi tape shop and I cut about six inches off the roll and then I cut down the middle so I would have six inches of tape for each cup. I wrapped it around the middle so it would end up through the handles and you've got a mug with a vintage vibe. In addition, I had some blocks left over from the coasters that I had made so I put two lighter colored blocks and then one brown block in between until I had assembled 14 blocks on uh, some brown jute. You can place those in the middle of an old cookbook and you have a vintage vibe.
If you like what you have seen today, please like, comment, save, and subscribe. In addition, you can follow me on Instagram at Z9Designs. Thank you. Have a lovely day.